Hi everybody, I hope you're well. Today we'll read from a book titled Touch Wood, Material, Architecture, Future, edited by Carla Ferrer, Thomas Hildebrand, and Selina Martinez Cagnavete, and published by Lars Müller. Today we associate wood with a spirit of optimism. Some of the most interesting current discussions about the future of architecture and urban planning revolve around this material. Whether it is CO2 emissions, technological developments, changes in urban landscape or our relationship with nature, wood is increasingly at the center of the discourse. Touch Wood explores the universe of wood through diverse perspectives and invites us to rethink its crucial role for society. It aims to take a fresh look at building culture through the material and to demonstrate its transformative potential for a sustainable future. In order to understand how wood performs in architecture, we must recognize its cultural, ecological and technological contexts. This publication is both practically oriented and visionary. The critical dialogue between practitioners and scholars offers a holistic approach, imparting knowledge, raising awareness and stimulating the imagination. In the spirit of its title, Touch Wood invites us to explore the material and, in doing so, to rediscover the natural environment. At the same time, the expression Touch Wood evokes the hope of addressing global challenges in an intelligent manner. Wood needs time. Forests and trees challenge us to think in terms of centuries and generations. As an old Greek proverb says, a society grows great when old men and women plant trees in whose shade they know they shall never sit. Growing, harvesting, processing and caring for wood requires patience and long-term commitment. Building with wood, therefore, requires planning that involves different actors and multi-generational frameworks. Wood is valuable. It is a material that can play an essential role in decarbonizing our world, since building materials and the construction industry account for about 10% of global CO2 emissions. However, wood is a limited resource and its use requires a careful and sensible approach. This is not the one material that can solve all the problems of the built environment. Wood is not new. It has fundamentally shaped the evolution of mankind. Without wood, there would be no fire, no houses, no furniture and no tools. Today's innovations are preceded by a long history of using the material. Traditional techniques offer real solutions for pushing the limits of wood and invite us to imagine an alternative built environment. Craftsmanship is more important today than ever. Using wood in architecture appears to be the order of the day. Switzerland plays a leading role in this development and in this book it serves as a case study. Its long engineering tradition, progressive policies and economic prosperity create a fruitful environment for innovations. The country's modest size, geography and well-documented history make it a pertinent example for understanding the multifaceted dimensions of wood. Wood exerts a strong presence in architecture that extends well beyond Switzerland. In 2016, the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe declared that the 21st century will be the century of wood, thus setting an ambitious agenda for sustainable forestry and resilient infrastructures. However, depending on the context, wood is only one of the many renewable materials that will be critical towards attaining more sustainable building practices. In fact, the most intense construction today takes place in regions where wood resources are scarce. Forests are shaped by climatic, geological and cultural conditions that sometimes transcend national boundaries. Switzerland is an example of interdependencies associated with this material. 
more than half of its wood demand for construction is currently imported from neighboring countries. In addition to the material flows, international knowledge exchange between industry, academia and practice is necessary and is proving to be a catalyst for a renewed interest in wood. Moving from forest to wood to architecture, this book presents a variety of perspectives, scientific studies and building projects. Technical contributions, inspiring visuals and diverse stories offer visions for the future. Focusing on the forest, its services and uses, experts discuss its challenges and potentials. The central topics are biodiversity, forestry practices and the raw material itself. The diverse and growing demands of the forest require increased cooperations in order to find a balance between the different needs. A look back at the ancient relationships between wood and humans fosters awareness about the diverse aspects and potential transformations of the material. Different contributions deliver a critical examination of sustainability and technology, as well as the state of the art in building with wood. Experts from the timber industry, engineering and construction open doors to new possibilities for design and innovation. In addition, the sensual qualities of wood help to explain our enduring fascination with this material. The use of wood in architecture has been influenced over the centuries by geographical context, technological advancements and different ways of living. Understanding these conditions is critical. Outstanding architecture projects illustrate just how diverse the approaches, qualities and forms of expression are. Following these projects, a selection of visionary texts and practices present a promising future ahead. The publication of Touch Wood, Material, Architecture, Future has been made possible by the trust and support provided by the public and private sectors, as well as by academic institutions. The content of this book is based on countless discussions, proposals and dedicated collaborations. The necessity to step beyond the boundaries of our own discipline has generated an open and ongoing dialogue. Touch Wood addresses an engaged audience of professionals and lay people who want to enrich their knowledge and thus become actors in the promotion of wood in architecture. Ask for the book at your local bookstore. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.